Hello and welcome to Nick's Naturopathic Journal. Today with me on the show is uh, Patrick Sullivan Jr., co-founder and CEO of Jigsaw Health. Thanks for being with us today, Patrick. Thank you for having me, Nick. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm so excited for the things that you're doing with Nick's Naturopathic Journal. Thank you. All right, so let's just get right down to it. Yes. Um, so the people want to know, people at home want to know, what's your story and what's the story of Jigsaw Health? Well. Uh, my dad and I started Jigsaw Health in 2005. Really, it started when he published and wrote the book Wellness Piece by Piece, which was based on his 30-year experience of uh, chronic recurrent health challenges, off and on, everything from insomnia to gastrointestinal problems. Uh, and what he discovered is that the root of most of those challenges were his mercury amalgams. He had 14 mercury amalgams in his life for about three decades. Removing those was the first step in beginning to get well. He got rid of the source, one of the major sources, and then began to uh, just rebuild his body with nutrition. Excellent. Yeah, so that led to Jigsaw Health, and uh, it was more than just that piece, which is why we have the name Jigsaw Health. The uh, subtitle of the book was uh, How a Successful Entrepreneur Found the Pieces to His Chronic Health Puzzle, and I think that's what you find with naturopathic medicine. It's about not just here's a drug, here's a quick fix, it's really about treating the whole patient and about finding the source, right? Awesome. Yeah, that's exactly it. So, you know, your dad had this history of finding his own health through his, you know, he had a healing journey. Mm -hmm. And um, so I guess um, that would be why you care about health and uh, by an extent naturopathic medicine. Is that how uh, you relate to naturopathic medicine or have you had your own uh, healing journey? I'm very motivated by people like my dad who have had health challenges that are difficult to diagnose, right. difficult to figure out, and it's multifactorial. Um, one of the things about the principles of naturopathic medicine, mm -hmm. see if I can pronounce this correctly, vis medicatrix naturae, uh, yeah, basically, yeah. Did I do it right? The vis. So the healing power <laughs> of nature. Uh, Mother Nature has given us the things that our bodies need to run on. And when we get in tune, when we get in balance with those things, our bodies seem to do a lot better. Uh, and so that is where we feel like at Jigsaw Health, we are a supportive element of what you and your fellow naturopaths do in terms of helping people find the balance and restore the balance. Right. Awesome. That's exactly it. You know, I love how you bring in the naturopathic principles into play here. Yeah, and in Latin. Yeah, <laughs> you got. How long did you practice that Latin? Come uh, on, <laughs> a little, like forty-five minutes. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still not sure uh, if I said it. You're right. natural, a natural. <laughs> so, uh, did you have anybody that you uh, consider your mentor? Somebody that was really resounded with you during your formative years, kind of when you were starting the company and all that. Uh, Three important mentors in my life. Number one would be my dad. Uh, he's taught me so much about business and being able to work alongside him. You can imagine the, uh, the lessons that I've learned from that. Uh, number two would be Roy H. Williams, uh, known as the Wizard of Ads. He's written several right. New York Times bestsellers. And he's given me a, a view into marketing and what makes things popular, popular. So breaking down, whether it's you know pop songs to uh, commercials, what made those things popular, and then how do you replicate that for your own business? Uh, the third, I think, would be Seth Godin. About 20 years ago, someone introduced me to Permission Marketing, the first book by Seth Godin. And I feel like he, almost more so than anyone, has been sort of this prophet talking about um, you know this TV ad thing that has worked so well for so long it's not going to keep it's not going to work anymore right we have to make a great product he wrote a book called purple cows uh that talks about making something that is remarkable and then letting your customers tell the story for you uh every company that's out there over the last 20 years has lamented the fact that they can't just buy an ad on cheers or seinfeld and 30, 40% of the country is watching that show yeah. because of YouTube, Facebook, et cetera, et cetera. Targeting and audiences have become much smaller. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you to create something that's remarkable so that your customers 
help spread the word for you. Awesome, that's great. And uh, tell me, how have you let your customers tell the story of Jigsaw Health? One of the number one things that we do is we produce a different, uh, s couple of different series of videos. The first one that we started with was something called Hashtag Funny Fridays. We've now produced awesome 27, <laughs> thank you, 27, 28 in a row. It's a way of showing our personality and loosely tying our products to some sort of situation. Uh, so one of my favorite episodes uh, is called Cold Wars. It was one of the first episodes that we did that took two ladies in our office fighting over the thermometer. Uh -huh. One wanted it hot, the other wanted it cold. The comments and the shares on Facebook were sort of off the charts. It's very much a situation that happens universally. Uh, and then we had a silly, funny way of tying that back to our office and to Magnesium. Uh, you can watch it on uh, the Funny Friday series. If you Google Jigsaw Health, Funny Friday, Cold Wars, you'll find that and see what I mean. Awesome. And that, that's just one of the ways that we give customers a way of spreading our story through something that's worthwhile, something that's worth sharing. And in the comments, we'll see people share it and say, this is the company that I buy my Magnesium from. Aren't they silly? Right. <laughs> awesome. And, you know, we'll have all those links uh, in the comment section below. So, you know, keep an eye out for those. Uh, you know, I love, uh, I was, that's a perfect segue to our next topic. Uh, I love uh, the, the personality that Jigsaw Health brings. Um, you know, it's a small business with, like, a lot of personality. Yeah. You know, a ton of personality. Um, you know, you mentioned the fu Funny Friday videos. Mm -hmm. You guys have uh, toilet paper blasters and even yourself, the CEO, uh, attending conferences in a giant toilet paper suit. Yeah, uh, <laughs> to a picture of me in toilet yes, paper suit. Yes, and we need that. <laughs> <laughs> Could you mind, do you mind expanding a bit more on your philosophy about you know, being the fun supplement company and you know, really bringing the people in um, to that kind of experience? The personality that is on display in the Funny Friday videos and in other ways mm -hmm. about Jigsaw Health is really an extension of the team that we have here. We, in the summer of 2016, were thinking we need to do more videos. What is our slant going right. to be? And Natalie, the QC manager, came up with this idea of let's do an electrolyte chugging contest. So we have our, here it is, the Electrolyte Supreme that we said, well, let's, let's do, you know, line everybody up. And this turned into what we hashtagged as a Funny Friday video. The reactions and the feedback that we got was tremendous, as you can imagine, because mm -hmm. it was a little silly and funny. Uh, and I won the checking contest. Hey. Uh, I'm not sure what that says about Don't, me. Important details. Don't forget it. <laughs> Don't forget <laughs> it. It was in that that I also realized, as a team, the camaraderie that was developed of just getting to be silly and have fun uh, made our already great workplace that much more fun. Uh, and, and one of the biggest questions that happens with res people, will see, they'll see these silly, ridiculous videos that seem to have maybe no mention of the company, but often have like the Got Mag shirt. Right. To me, this is like, Representing thank, you, thank you for wearing it today. It looks fantastic. <laughs> Uh, I have a whole closet full, so basically I'm always in the <laughs> That's in one action. of the videos. The thing that we found is uh, we function better as a team, and it gives our customers sort of a view into, mm -hmm. wow, this is an interesting company. Yeah. Uh, I'm not aware of any other dietary supplement company that is sort of doing these extra things. And what will often happen in the comments of the Facebook videos sometimes in emails back, is people sort of laughing and saying, when do you guys do any work? And what I have flipped the switch in my mind is that this really is the real work. This is a real differentiator, and it helps people develop a relationship with us that, okay, these are people that are making good products and aren't ashamed to be a little silly about it. And, and obviously, most of the videos poke fun at ourselves. And most of them poke fun at my <laughs> me. Uh, you can handle it, though. I can handle it. I can dish it, which means I have to be right. able to handle it. So the, the videos and the personality uh, that has been developing is really, a, a, it's just an outcropping of our own culture here at the office. 
Amazing. One of the videos, I'll add this, one of the videos that we haven't done yet, but we plan to shoot, is something that, a video that is tentatively titled, The Pitch Meeting. Uh -huh. Because our pitch meetings, where we're all sitting around talking about ideas, developing ideas, collaborating on them, it's hilarious. I mean, <laughs> those meetings in and of themselves are a ton of fun. So right. uh, we do have a lot of fun with that. <laughs> and that's great. Because uh, also lately, you know, through your videos, you've been building a, a relationship with the, um, you know, the you know, health community, mm -hmm. the supplements community, you know, your customers and all that, which is amazing. You know, a really, it's a really great way to build trust. Um, I honestly got to recommend that you uh, watch some of their stuff because, I mean, they're very, you know, it's just, you know, it's just very honest, very wholehearted fun, you know, and, uh, you know, it's uh, just getting to know the people that you buy your supplements from, I mean. It really makes sense because the trust is a big part of uh, your purchase. Um, but lately, you've also been uh, building community ties with uh, Southwest College of Naturopathic Medicine, SCNM, you know, my school and the beloved school of many uh, others. Yeah. So, uh, would you through your business uh, lunch and learn talks? Mm -hmm. So, uh, how about you tell us a bit more about that and uh, what your hopes are for um, your relationship with the SCNM community? Yeah, SCNM is a really important partner of ours. We look at that, I look at that especially as an investment in the future, not just for Jigsaw as this like self-promotional thing, but as I think the most important element of helping to heal and provide better health to Arizona and beyond. Right. My personal primary care doctor is a naturopath. Everyone that I recommend to go see a doctor, I say start with a naturopath because their it. tool chest of what they can do is so big and they start with the least invasive and the most natural and they really focus on, as we talked about earlier, balancing mm -hmm. uh, what's happening, root cause, right. figuring it out, uh, and also the V's, the V's that's saying. right, Visa <laughs> Medicatrix Nature, uh, and also Prevenire prevention right. as a cure so you know the I, I'm, I'm representing today jigsaw health but it, uh patrick here is representing naturopathic medicine every day <laughs> he, he walks the walk you know he goes to the he goes to the naturopathic physician yep. you uh you recommend naturopathic medicine to your friends uh, so make thank naturopathic you. medicine and also yes yeah you absolutely make the nutraceuticals that we use what i have learned that i would like to think can be shared and useful to you and your fellow doctorate students is things about business. Right. So in our first series, we talked a lot about marketing, how to get customers, how to tell your story, uh, how to have a distinction and a differentiator that crops up from your own unique story, your own life story. Uh, and then in the second series, we got real boring and we talked a lot about accounting. <laughs> but it turns out accounting is a really <laughs> important part of business and you guys aren't getting any of that kind of stuff. So for me, it's like, okay, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. What can I bring that is going to be valuable to the students at SCNM? And I've had a lot of fun doing these past two series. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to do, we already have an idea for number three. And we'll come up with number four. Because as you and I have talked about, drip, 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 drip. Don't just show up once. Show up and throw up. Create a series. Yeah. Really, uh, you know, give them time to digest the material first. Yeah. And, um, you know, we do get we do get some business training, but we always uh, it never hurts to have more, of course. And you know, that boring accounting talk I've never seen so many questions from the audience in my life. Really? I mean, uh, they they were really into it. I mean, yeah. that's really important information that everybody wanted. Yeah. So um, I really got to recommend these talks. Uh, amazing information, honestly. Um, you know, the website I use for the journal is Mailchimp. Uh, that came from a recommendation from this man right here. So very valuable information and resources coming from Jigsaw Health uh, for the naturopathic community, and um, also a delicious barbecue for lunch. <laughs> that's right. That's the lunch part of lunch and learn. That's right. Uh, so keep an eye on your emails, all you uh, SCNM students. Mm -hmm. Uh, Fridays at lunch. That's right. Not every Friday, but you know, when it's there, it's good. That's right. That's <laughs> right. And quick, I'd be remiss if I didn't throw a shout out to Dorian, our amazing student rep. She does a great job organizing, promoting, and she walks around school and everybody knows her. If you need magnesium, 
Talk to Dorian. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you, Dr. To Be Dorian. I'd like to thank all of our viewers today for uh, tuning in to Nick's Naturopathic Journal, and uh, keep an eye out for us next Thursday. Peace out. Take care.